Hey guys, welcome. Uh, so this is going to basically be my movie unboxing slash. Basically, this is movies that I just purchased that uh, I've got since I've been gone, and um, so we're going to hop right into it. These stack movies I have right here next to me, so we're going to go through each single one of them, or which ones I purchased. Um, and I've already, I know I've uploaded a few of them, and, uh, and I haven't got to these. I forgot that I had that uh, that I didn't do, uh, you know. I'm unboxing a new DVD for these, and these are what I purchased since I uh, lost my job and haven't been uploading any videos. So these are what I got, and we're gonna go into them right now. So the first one we have is the Hunger Games: Catching Fire. Now this movie is actually a really good movie. Um, we're not gonna go into reviews of these movies because um, another video I'm, uh, I've already shot and edited, I'm uploading soon. It's gonna be going uh, it's all my movies from last year, and this is one of the movies that I got reviewed. But we're going into the packaging, and it's pretty good packaging. Um, this is held on by Lossy Tape. I think I'm going to just take it off because um, it's already like, you know, sliding around and it's coming off. Um, but we're going to jump into it. It's a Blu ray DVD digital HD copy, and it's a nice little slip cover to it. You just pull that bad boy out, and boom, that's what you get. And it's pretty sick. And uh, the back of this right here has the uh, logo. In the front, you have Katniss Everdeen in her Hunger Games outfit. Now you open it up, you have a Catching Fire. You know, get 4,000 coins for free. Um, you know what? For any of you guys who uh, play the game and all that, here you go. Free code. I really I'm not going to use it, so I know you guys can have it. Go ahead and uh, get it. Whichever one of you guys gets it, good, good for you. Uh, here we go. Uh, Every Revolution begins with a spark. And this is the Blu-ray of the film. And that's what the cover you have. I really don't like patching like this where you have to slide it in and out. Cause it's, I'm not a big fan of that kind of uh, work. But um, this is what the disc looks like on Blu-ray. As you can see, and then we're gonna skip over to the next page. It's since the last games, something is different, and you have Peter Malark on the cover. And this is the feature film of the DVD. And if I can get it out, that's another reason why I don't like it because it gets stuck. And yeah, it's so pretty much the same artwork that you have on the Blu-ray that will be on the DVD. You know, nothing different, nothing changed, except that the bomb will let you know if I it's the DVD or not. And remember who the real enemy is. And then you have on this, you have Finnick. And this is, and as it says at the bottom, bonus disc. And let me get the artwork on what that looks like. If I can get it. Is just the logo. And it's a Blu-ray as well. So, you know, you get all the nice bonus features on one little disc. Oh, one almost came out. And you open it up even more. The only thing stronger than fear is hope. And here you have Gale. Now, the artwork's pretty cool. It's like a little book. It's a booklet, pretty much, and it's pretty nice. It's um, different from what the first uh, Hunger Games uh, thing looked like, and um, yeah, it's actually not bad. It's like a little plastic cover leaf, and this was the release that they had for at Target. So this one I got. Um, so I had uh, gotten this bad boy when I was able to get it. Um, I forgot who. I don't remember how. Um, who got who helped me get it? But uh, yeah, so this is one I had to get. Um, so we got this as soon as I possibly could, and yeah, so that's one. And another one I got was Archer, the complete season four. And uh, here you go. So on the cover, it is Archer. And if you're not a big, if you're not a, have not a fan of the show, or haven't even seen the show, I recommend seeing this. Uh, people like Bob's Burgers will like this as well. Uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It's basically really good humor. And they have really good voice cast. So this is Archer with the little mustache and you open it up and you have Archer with looking down the scope. And on the back you have Archer and Lana and then a few other, you know, stuff they talk about. They don't even have, these Blu-rays don't really have any much on the special feature size on any of them, on any of the seasons. And here's the cover art for the season four. Pretty cool. Show is pretty hilarious. It's only, you know, only a couple of episodes on each disc. And uh, on the inside you got a Miami Vice kind of theme. And then you have Archer Vice, which is going to be the new season that's coming out, or it's already out, it's already done and shot with, and the Blu-ray should be coming out by the beginning of next year. And here are the discs, one and two, Archer and Lana Kang on the cover. And if you take the disc back out, if I get the disc out, disc one and disc two out, you have also artwork in the back, and on this side you have the, basically the chapters on which disc is going to be on, and then you have Mallory Archer and they have Sterling Archer. So yeah, so 
anybody who has never seen the show, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I know they have it on uh, Netflix. It's on FX. Um, they have some pretty good shows on there. I don't watch all their shows, but this is one of the shows that they actually, you know, that's pretty hilarious. And yeah, so that is my fourth season of Archer. I have all of them so far. Next up is the Fast and Furious 6. Now, the series has evolved and changed much of the format. Um, they are no longer, you know, bad guys doing bad things just to get money. They just evolved into a whole different kind of thing. Kind of like Ocean's Eleven almost. Beats Robin Hood. I think that was the fifth one or fourth one. Fifth one was where they became more like Robin Hood, you know, whatever. Um, or fourth one. <laughs> I hate that really don't I'm not sure actually no fourth one is them coming back and trying to be all week whatever anyways but um yeah so the movie review is already done for this one it's gonna be done below it's not gonna be separate it's gonna be separate from the ultimate movie review because I did the review and it was edited and I liked how it was edited all the other ones were edited as well but I didn't want to upload all of them because it was just gonna be a pain in the ass and I know not everybody's gonna watch every single one of them so I decided to do all of them in just one little video and I kept that one out because I already liked the editing job that I did on that one so that one's gonna get its own so yeah so here you go, Fast 6, there's a slip cover. And this is what it looks like on the outside. Now the Blu-ray steelbook they had at Best Buy is the exact same artwork on this. And if you buy all of the uh, steelbooks, they have all the same artwork quality on each, every one of them, one through six. Um, I don't know if they're gonna come out with a seventh one that looks matches that one. Um, when I bought this one, I was kinda disappointed because all the other ones, um, including the fifth one, I'm not 100% sure, they all had pretty much the same artwork, and I was kind of disappointed that they changed it up a bit. I was hoping they were all the same. Keep it uniform, you know, but whatever. It's just it's just me. So this is the uh, it includes the extended edition. This is part six. Let's take this out. So this is Fast 6, the Blu-ray and the DVD. And it goes with the digital copy. I already gave it to my uh, my aunt, actually. And this is all the, for the Sochi 2014 and all the other stuff that's on there, so... Yeah, and I just recently got these um, movies, so, you know, a little bit of a catch-up, which kind of sucks. Um, I also have a Thor, the Dark World, the Target Edition with the slip sleeve coming in the mail. And, yeah, it kind of sucks I'm playing catch-up with these because, you know, most of you already have it, bought it, or whatever. But, you know, whatever. This is just my collection that's been updated so far. And so far, I'm getting reaching close to a thousand movies. And I know by the end of this year, I'll be I'll already patched that benchmark. I already have two bookshelves filled with movies. I already did a you know, compilation video at the end of my Amazing Spider-Man 1, the Amazing Spider-Man 1, the video I have, and I'm, you know, the box of that, then after that I had the collection of my movies. Um, I'll be doing an updated video of that by the end of this year, so hopefully by, you know, get everything all up to date and then, you know, we'll move on to next year and see what we have coming on and added on, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So moving right ahead, we have Pacific Rim 3D. Now, all these movies, I will link every single. Uh, I will link that description for the movie review in the bottom. So, don't worry about you know why and what the movie is all about. I'll link the description below so you can watch it and see. Um, each one is you know different, and unique. I think I'm gonna put chapter breaks in them, so it'll make it easier for you guys to just skip on to the next one to each movie one, because um, it's gonna be a pretty lengthy review. But all in all, this was definitely a good movie. I was definitely satisfied with it. Um, it has a nice lenticular cover. Um, some pieces have different lenticular cover artwork. One was this one where you have Gypsy Danger, and then if you moved it over, you would have a Jaeger. Um, I mean, sorry, a Kaiju. <laughs> this is a Jaeger. You would have a Kaiju flip over to the other side. But unfortunately, the one that I was looking for was out, and some of them just had the Jaegers, like this one, by itself, and then the Kaijus, which was just by themselves, and flipped it. Um, so yeah, so I got this one. It's the Blu-ray 3D, and if you open it up, you know... Get the digital code or to give the code out already and we have the blu-ray now i'm not a big fan of the these uh box designs of these movies because it's kind of disappointing actually not kind of it is disappointing to have it like this i don't like the discs sitting on top of each other i rather have that, that uh the flip thing where you flip it back and forth but here we go let's just, let's just go through with these and um the artwork is pretty simple on these it's black with a nice little you know design well it's not a design it's more like a specs kind of um, looking thing on basically if anybody who's a CGI, CGI artwork that works with Maya or 3ds Max will know that those are polygon grids for when you do um, modeling so that's what that is the polygon modeling grids on the discs um, you have the DVD on this side then you have the blu-ray on this side and I don't know the name of the, Jaeg the Jaegers that are on these discs um, but you know whatever I do they have Gypsy Danger on both the 3d 
and the regular standard Blu-ray. So both will have the Gypsy Danger uh, Jaeger on top of them. Um, yeah, and the watched I've watched the making of these, and they have really great extensive uh, behind-the-scenes footage and all this, which is pretty cool. It was really cool. I really like watching the behind-the-scenes stuff like that and learning the processes and you know stuff that they did to make the movie make it better. Um, this is definitely one of the you know better ones when you buy a movie and you have good beefy extra features. But all in all, this was definitely a good quality movie and definitely great Blu-ray with all the special features. Moving right along, what I purchased is, and I'm still having trouble taking this off, but it's the Man of Steel Blu-ray 3D with the lenticular cover. I'm having trouble taking that off because it's kind of peeling off and I'm going to have to try to get it off and it's sticking to the thing. Usually it doesn't stick to the lenticular, but this time it did. I don't know why, but whatever. It, I kind of hate the stickers on top of the box anyways because when you pull off, either if it's on a regular carbon, it will rip off the part of it or basically it just depends. And yeah, so I'm just ranting about something so stupid, but... It's mean, I like keeping my boxes in mint condition as possible, but I'm still ranting. So, anyways, Man of Steel, digital copy, already given it out. Sorry, guys. And uh, the Noble Collection. For anybody who doesn't know what a Noble Collection is, it's anybody who purchased anything of Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. It's basically you can buy stuff on this website, and you'll get these little things that, you know, basically little things that connect to the movie. Um, this is actually pretty sweet. They have the Codex Skull and stuff like that, and you can purchase all these. Um, they also have the Superman Bronze uh, sculpture. Uh, sculpture. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, but if for any of you Superman fans, you know there's a lot of cool stuff they have on that website. You can check the website out. It's a Noble Collection. Uh, it's at uh, noblecollection.com. And yeah, again, the discs on top of each other. They all carry the signature Man of Steel logo. Um, and if you don't know what that is, that's Superman S Shield. I don't know why I would have to explain to you, but most people need that kind of explanation. But yeah, so you have the Blu-ray 3D and the Blu-ray. I thought I switched it around, but anyways, the 3D is sitting on top of my Blu-ray, my standard Blu-ray. This will be your special features, and behind it is your DVD. So, I'm going to switch it back because I don't have a 3D TV yet, I'm getting one. And I usually don't watch the 3D, actually I don't watch the 3D now, so... When I finally do, I will have it ready to go. And I don't know what this crap is on my disc, but I don't like it. Okay. It's just a disc deformation. So, yeah, there we go. The special features on this was actually not bad. Um, yeah, it was four hours of making nothing. There's a lot of stuff on here that's pretty cool. You know, if you haven't, you know, checked it out. But the special effects on this was pretty good. The sword was really amazing. Uh, I probably got out of sight. I learned camera sight. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Um... But all in all, it was definitely a pretty good movie. Definitely something that, you know, you should check out if you have not seen it. Of course, in below will be another link. Watch, well, it's going to be the same link for the description. So, like I said, all these movies will have a video to the description. And this one, I know for sure, is its own video review. Iron Man 3. Now, I already told you what I thought about this movie, so I'm not going to go much into a rant for it. But, after watching... The special features since my mom got the blu-ray of the thor dark world um, watching the marvel one shot i could give this movie forgiveness um but yeah all in all this movie was uh wasn't that bad it was a good follow-up i like what they did with the character so yeah i got the cover art and all that um that's i like the, the cover packaging it's not bad the slip cover is pretty sweet um i bought my mom um the region free steelbook and she's big on steelbooks she loves steelbooks so <laughs> So what I did was I looked around for it. I found it on eBay. Got her the steel book. Um, it's very rare, and I got it for her, and um, she was very happy with it, which is good. And I'm not really big on steel books, and I, you know, but I'm not sesame. But I know my mom is, so I said, you know what? Let me get it for her because I know she'll love it. And you know, like a good son, I got it for her. And so you know, just gotta do what you gotta do to keep people in your family happy. You know, find something that they like and love. <laughs> so here we go. Blu-ray 3D Iron Man. 3D, uh, the Blu-ray, I'm uh, sorry, the DVD of Iron Man, and then the Blu-ray 3D, and then the standard Blu-ray of Iron Man 3. Um, and of course it comes with all these special features and all these other little stuff that you would get into it, and, you know, codes and all that stuff that you would get with it. Uh, unlock your digital copy of the movie, music, album, and all that stuff on there. And I gave it all to my brother, um, because... That's what big brothers do, and because I really don't keep the digital copies, I really don't wander around watching them. I, you know, 
listen to music and the other stuff on the road. Uh, so basically, I'm into a lot of things, so basically I don't have time to watch movies all day, even though I do sometimes. Um, next up is the District B13. Now, I watched the Brick Mansions, and everybody's going to be in the bottom of knowledge, and you'll know what, what I thought about that. This movie is definitely an amazing movie. I purchased this movie because I really liked it. And after I saw Brick Mansions, I was like, I have to get this one because I really loved the way this movie was done. And I love what they had with it. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I mean, the the, the stuff they did in there was pretty amazing. It's it's, it's pretty art. Pretty, pretty, pretty fucking awesome. Um, and here goes the artwork. It's done by Lupe Son. And a lot of people who know who that is and some people don't. For you guys who don't know who that is, he had directed... Brought us such movies as Taken, The Fifth Element, The Professional. I could go on and on, but that's what I'm leaving you with right there. So here we go. And uh, these two, I just purchased recently because um, the new Turtles movie was coming out, and I wanted to watch these again, and I love them. And it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 and 2. Now, I bought them separately. I didn't buy them in the whole pack like everybody else, because I didn't like Part 3, Part 4, and I wasn't really that big much of a fan of the original. Uh, the, the animated movies and these were pretty much my favorites. Um, I love them and even now they're still actually not that bad. I love the, the animatronic, you know, work they do with the puppets and the costumes that they did. Um, yeah, but the only sad thing is on these discs they don't come with very heavy special features. Pretty much there is no special features on these whatsoever. No behind the scenes, no making of, no anniversary. Hey, you know, this is, you know, let's look back on people worked on it and what they thought about it and all that so we don't have any of that stuff so that's the only downside of this but on that great movie nice uh, quality actually it's a pretty good um, upgrade so those are the two I just recently got and for any of you guys who are a big fan of the show The Big Bang Theory Season 6 I was brought uh, this show and including Archer was recommended to me by our friend These, this was recommended by a different friend from the other one but definitely recommended by two different friends and I got into the show and the show was amazing um, I am a nerd as well, so might not be into science and all that, but I do can't keep up with some of the stuff that they say, some of the stuff, and when it comes to gaming and other nerd stuff, like comic books and stuff, I'm all in there, I know it. So there you go, that's this one and two. And then of course it comes out with the whole disc overlay of chapters and all that stuff, and the back cast and all that. So right now they have a really good cast of characters and, you know, an amazing show. I will begin the seventh season when it comes out. Boom. And of course, if people who don't know me by now, and if you don't know, I don't watch these shows on TV because I can't wait. I hate with super commercial. The commercial breaks are too long, and they also when it ends, you have to wait a whole week for the next episode. And then during winter or spring break, you have to wait a whole week for them to come back on. And sometimes I forget that's coming back on, and then I'm screwed. Yes, I know. DVR. I don't use DVR. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I don't. I just, <laughs> I just don't. All right, here's another one. Riddick. Um, this was actually way better than the second one, but then again, you know, anything was better than the second one. But this is definitely way better than the second one. Um, not as good as the first one. The first one was amazing, but this, you could tell, was going back to its basic roots. And I'm not gonna go much into review of that because it is gonna be in the description below. All right. So as far as the movie goes, the picture quality, of course, Blu-ray, and the digital download and Actually, I don't know why I'm coming up. I already gave it away. And then here you go. Riddick. DVD, Blu-ray. And with this, of course, some of these now are now coming out with the digital HD. And this is one of them, of course. And a few other ones I already showed you came out with the HD digital download. And, yeah, definitely a pretty good movie. And the slip cover is actually not that bad. Um, it's pretty cool looking. I like how it's, you know, that little shiny little thing. Boss lettering and all that. Um, the special features quality is... Uh, that's right, it's minimal, it's pretty standard, basic, you know, making stuff and all that, you know. Not as heavy as most movies, like, you know, The Dark Knight or anything like that. And here we go for our next one would be Kick-Ass 2. Now, this one might not be as good as the first one because of the level of awesomeness the first one had. I know that's not really saying much, but, you know, we set, we as fans set the bar so high, and people who weren't fans of the comics set it even higher, and so this one came out with like... That's that's it. So yeah, here's your artwork. You have Kick Ass and you have Hit Girl, and in the back you have the ca uh, different uh, pictures of each of the scenes that's gonna be in the movie. Now I love the artwork. You know, it's nice and boss lettering and all that sticks out. You know, and I love it. It's 
plain simple and it's to the point <laughs> it's to the point that's all that needs to be done all right now you got a digital download hd blah blah, blah. another action-packed favorites all right on your right you have the kick-ass dvd and the kick-ass blu-ray now these the movie was actually not bad it was actually you know again the review is going to be below and um after upon re further review on watching this movie i'm going to like it a little bit more um I think it's one of those movies you've watched again and again and just appreciate what they what they did and where they and the time frame that they missed to you know go up. But um, all in all, it's actually not bad. The making of it's it's cool, but not you know could be more. But you know what? Definitely a, a solid movie. And um, I know Rotten Tomatoes gave it a really bad score. All right, moving on. Now this one it's taken two. This was this is the first one, but you know what? I think it's definitely a decent flick. As far as the movie goes, um, so basically it's just leaving on chair and it says, "I'm going to do what I do best." And of course, you have your digital copy and your digital download and you know whatever. And then you have this uh, promo for the following show, which is a really good show. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's pretty freaking amazing. And on this side, you have the DVD and digital copy, and this one you have the Blu-ray. This copy I actually gave to my aunt because. She liked the first one and wanted the second one. My brother didn't really care about it that much, so I didn't give it to him. So you know, that's pretty much all. I, what I do is I if I don't keep, I'm not gonna keep it, so I will give it to my brother. If not, I usually give it to my aunt because she would like it, and I'm her favorite. I don't know if I'm her favorite, but probably am now because I hook up with the free digital downloads, and she has an iPad, and I know she likes it. So there you go. That's where I stand, and that's where I think I stand. And you know what? I don't care if my cousin say anything about it, that's where I stand. So right here we have next is The Raid 2. And if you have seen the first one, the movie was freaking amazing. It was an awesome movie. I saw the trailer and I was like, I gotta see that movie. That movie looked amazing. Um, when it came out, and it came out at the same time around Dread, and it pretty much similarities abound with those two movies. It's kind of sad, but both movies were actually freaking amazing. Uh, even though the similarities were there, both movies were awesome in their own respective rights. And, you know... I couldn't say anything wrong about it. And Gareth Edwards returns. And he returns on part two. And part two did not, you know, skip onto the action. And, of course, it was a little bit longer. And, um, you know, I fell asleep. I fell asleep on it because I decided to watch it when I was, when it was really late. It was one in the morning. And, like, you know what, let me watch a movie. And usually I could stay up and finish a movie. But that time I just... I didn't have the energy and it sucked. I fell asleep on it, so I had to watch it again. It's a really good movie. I got halfway through this movie when I fell asleep, so it, I was surprised I was able to stay awake that long when I was watching. Like, I got pretty far when I was uh, tired. But this is the uh, Blu-ray disc. That's what it looks like, the artwork, and it's pretty badass. And the digital copy, and of course the other ones. And I gave this digital copy to my brother because I gave him the first one. And he was definitely a big fan of the first one. He loved the first one a lot. And given the second one, he didn't like the second one as much as the first one, but... Since it's a free copy, he's, I know he's going to watch it again, and he he did. And he's done that for a few movies that I gave him copies for, because that's the kind of guy he is. And I almost knocked my soda over. That's going to be stupid. Alright, next up is going to be the Sherlock Season 3. Now, this show was definitely an amazing show. Um, I got into it... How did I get into the show? It was actually by pure chance. I was watching... What movie did I watch? It was recommended to me on Netflix, and I don't remember what it was that rec why it was recommended. But you know what? I saw it, and I was like, you know what? I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan, and let me check it out. I was hooked day one. I mean, it was it got me, and it never let me go. It was great storytelling, great acting, great performances. Now I remember why it was I, I got recommended. I watched a show with um, Hugh Laurie, who was basically it's a British show. He played a doctor. And basically, he was a family man, and he had a son, and his son one was Benedict Cumberbatch. And his performance, even though he was in it for a little bit of time, he definitely gave a good performance as well. So I was like, wow, you know, he's a pretty good actor. And I saw he was doing that show, he was playing Sherlock Holmes. I was like, you know what? I was recommended because of that. And I watched it, and I was like, wow, it's a really good show. And so this is season three. And, I mean, the show is freaking amazing. And I know I've already mentioned this in my other... Movie talk and movie suggestions with my friend Blaster Master. And here we go. We've got disc one and disc two. And it's only three episodes each season. But they do give you a nice movie length feature film of each of the episodes. So basically, it's watching three movies in a season. And they do not 
hold back on the quality. They do an amazing job. Um, so I know I recommend this before to you guys to watch and definitely check it out on your Netflix. If you have not checked it out yet, please, dear God, check it out. It's you're not going to be disappointed. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman do an amazing job, and this is definitely one of the best uh, TV films, uh, TV uh, shows that's out there. I'm not a big fan of Elementary. I couldn't get into it, and you know what? My mom loves it. She likes the show, but she loves this one more. I showed her this one after she watched Elementary, and she really liked this one. And when she when I told her the third season was coming on Blu-ray, she goes, are you going to get it? Are you going to get it? <laughs> and I told her, yes, I will get it. Uh, and this was, actually, this came out right after I started working again. So thank God I started working again so I was able to get this because, uh, yeah, because, <laughs> damn it, I wanted I wanted it. <laughs> and thank God it, my, my, it, the timing was perfect for that. So, yeah, so this, you know, as soon as it came out, she was just ecstatic to watch it again. And um, she watched the first two again just to get back into it, and then she watched this one. And yeah, we made it actually. We actually made a whole day. It was just me and her. We just watched these all three of these episodes back to back. And when that episode, she goes, "That's it." I go, "That's it." She goes, "No, there has to be more." Unfortunately, no, there was more. And I told her she had to wait for next year for the number. She goes, "Like, damn it!" I go, "I know that sucks." Um, I know it plays here in the United States. I don't know what. I think it was on Channel Nine. I don't remember which. I, I didn't tell her because, you know, she already has so many other programs she's watching and she'll forget and she'll kick us off the butt for not watching it. But yeah, Sherlock, season three. Had to purchase it, got it. Thank God I got it. Next up is Star Trek Into Darkness 3D. I had to get this movie. Uh, it had a nice lenticular cover. This was the last lenticular cover. Um, when I buy my Blu-rays, and they come out with lenticular covers, I have to get it with the lenticular cover. I don't know what it is. It's kind of sad, but I have to get it with the lenticular cover because they look so freaking badass. I mean, come on. If you think about it, this versus this. Hmm. Which one would you want? This is kind of like, you know, eh. But this is pretty badass. It gives nice depth feel and, you know, all that little movement. Basically, you know what? That's why I grabbed it. And, of course, the letter is embossed. Alright, anyways, the movie to review of this is in the description, but yeah. <laughs> Get right into this. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. You have the DVD standard gray, and then you have the Blu ray of the Star Trek Into Darkness in blue, and then clear, as, yes, plain silver, uh, the 3D version. And then of course, you have the digital copy, which I already gave out, and then of course, all the other Paramount movies that they have. Now, as far as the special features go with this, it has a pretty decent amount of features on here. So, yeah, I I loved it. And, of course, they talk about, I think they have a part where they actually talk about the Klingon and how they had to learn the Klingon language and speak it. And, you know, it's pretty amazing the, the attention of detail that they did for this. You know, I, I grew up watching the original Star Trek uh, with, um, oh, wow, that sucks, William Shatner. <laughs> and Leonard Nimoy. I grew up on those. Grew up on those movies and stuff like that. I'm over Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars fan more than a Star Trek fan. But um, I'm fan enough to know some of the stuff that some of the lore and stuff that goes into it. I didn't get to the next generation or any of the things after the original generation because I got into Star Wars and I was like I like Star Wars more. But it doesn't mean I don't like Star Trek any less or I hate Star Trek for what it is. So I'm not one of those fans where I hate that one more than the other. I have equal love for the own. Actually, I have more love for Star Wars than I do for Star Trek. But, you know, J.J. Abrams definitely did justice to the Star Trek franchise and definitely brought new life into it and gave it the um, kind of big budget film and great quality that it deserved. It, you know, the movies that were given back then were, were good for what it was and what it had. So, yeah, I loved it. And definitely, definitely I just can't say enough about this this movie. But yeah, you can tell from the that uh, in my making of. So we're gonna get right into the next one. All right, hey guys. Uh, all right, next up is our digital copy. I'm um, the digital copy. <laughs> next up is our DVD, our Blu-ray, the Grown Ups Two. Now the first one was amazing. I love it. And the only reason um, I like Adam Sandler movies now, as much as I love his older stuff, and I'm a, a big fan of his older stuff, and I love his older stuff. And um, a lot of people don't like Adam Sandler. They basically, 
he's kind of like he is uh, the Polly Shore of our times. Um, and I grew up watching Polly Shore movies and I loved his stuff. I was a big Polly Shore fan. It was kind of sad to disappoint to see him go. Um, and I know why. It's just people he got pigeonholed in that one role and he keeps doing the same thing over and over again. You need to grow and evolve. Um, Adam Sandler definitely does the same stuff over and over again, but. In his movies, he's toned down in certain areas, and he found his niche in family films, where it's kind of more like family friendly and goofiness. And um, he did take a dramatic role in Punch Drunk Love, which was an amazing movie. He did a really great job performing. Um, he does have range, but he does he stitch with Windows Beth, which is comedy. And you know what? If it works for you, and you can work with your friends, which he normally does in all of his movies, and you can see that you guys are having fun. If you work with people you have great chemistry with. Do it and keep doing it and make it money and take the money. Like he said in the interview, why do you make movies with your friends and why do you make such terrible movies? And he basically said it and they basically said, if they're going to keep giving me money and uh, if I'm going to get paid a lot of money to work, uh, do stuff with my friends, of course I'm going to do it. Best answer in the world. So, anyways, right into it. Grown Ups 2. So, when I watched this movie, I didn't realize till the very end that Rob Schneider was not in this one. Um, duh. It should have said it with no name on the front and he wasn't in the picture. That Rob Schneider was not in this movie. It kind of was kind of sad and disappointing because I was expecting to see Rob Schneider in it, but he had another cast of members come in there, and um, of course the kids, all the kids come back. Um, so basically, it says just because they're a little older doesn't mean they've grown up. And of course, they have a nice little picture of all of them in the background at a big old '80s party and them with the family. The little scenes and making stuff is kind of you know leaves stuff to be desired, but I like what they showed with how they did the Fader House. It's pretty amazing. And of course, you got the digital copy. I already gave that out, and the Sony quality and all that stuff right here, and your Sony rewards. And here we go. Now the DVD is pretty bland, pretty standard, basically DVD stuff. And the Grumps 2 Blu-ray is pretty cool. You have the artwork of all of the actors right there with them when they were younger. And yeah, that's pretty freaking amazing. Another bonus thing that I liked about this was this is mastered in 4K. Now. I already said this in my Amazing Spider-Man 2 unboxing, and yes, 4K means that when you upgrade to 4K, you'll be able to, you know, expand the color quality palette of the movie that you're going to be watching. Doesn't mean it's going to be 4K quality. So basically, you you know, the amazing picture quality you get on your Blu-ray 1080p is amazing. But once you watch it and upgrade it to 4K quality, you'll get a nice, better, richer, deeper colors than that you would you know, that you wouldn't have gotten in your 1080p. But all in all, same picture quality, but just richer, deeper colors and Hey, not mad at it. You know, I'm just, you know, surprised that it was put on a regular comedy movie. Figured if it was going to be on anything, it'd be most likely action movies or movies that, you know, like Lord of the Rings or something. Like, something that has like great, great story. Um, I don't know. I just it was just kind of surprising to find something like that. Moving right along, we have <laughs> R.I.P.D. 3D. Now you have nice little tickler artwork and all that. And I know everybody knocks on Ryan Reynolds' acting. Um. He has some hit or misses with his, his acting. Um, Buried was one of his best uh, movies, um, even though it was him just stuck in a box. I loved the movie. It was, you know, very simple, simplistic, and it showed his range. And him being just by himself in a box and having somebody off camera, t you know, yelling lines at you. And it's just, um, you know what? It shows that you, you know, a range of acting skills you can have. Another great performance from him was Amityville. Definitely an amazing performance in this movie. Yeah, yes, it's in a reimagined movie, but. Amazing performance no matter what. So right along, three disc combo got the in here. And uh, the basically the making of is actually not that bad. Actually, you know, the features were actually pretty be, um, basic standard. Now this is the kind of, um, let me slide this around. And here we go, we got the RIPD digital copy which I already gave out. And here we go, RIPD 3D. This is the kind of art packaging I like to have. The little flip over. That's a lot better and easier to handle. This is the Blu-ray, and here you got your DVD copy. Um, and you can see the DVD is just standard matte blue, and the Blu-ray is just, you know, silver with the little Blu-ray at the bottom, and then of course the 3D one is the exact same thing with the 3D logo at the very bottom. And of course a simple artwork that's not in the uh, same from the lenticular cover. And this is what the back looks like. And you know what? It's actually you know a really amazing cast, and of course the review is going to be in the bottom of the description. Uh, I enjoyed the movie thoroughly, and you know, a few laughs, and I gotta say, Jeff Bridges still the show. I love Jeff Bridges. He's an amazing actor. All right, moving right along, we have a movie that I didn't expect that much out of, and 
I waited for it to come out on video, I didn't watch it in theaters, so there's no movie review for that, which is why we're going to do some kind of, no, it's going to be a mini review, basically. So, Where are the Millers, nice lenticular cover, has a great catch, Jason Sudeikis, Jennifer Aniston, Emma Roberts, and then this guy, which most people don't won't know, it's from the third uh, Chronicles of Narnia, he's the cousin, the pain in the ass cousin. But, you know what, they work very well together, it was definitely amazing. Um, so, let's go right into it. Digital copy, given away already. Yes, I know, I know. No, um, maybe one of these times I will do a giveaway on a Blu-ray with the digital copy. Um, we'll see what that is. I'm trying to figure out what kind of giveaway I'm going to give you guys. I haven't done the giveaway yet, but when I do, um, I will let you guys know when I do. And you guys will have to, I'll find a way. I, I'm racking my brains on what to do for a giveaway, but until then... We'll see. So right now, we're the Millers. Both of them pretty much the same. Crappy black um, cover. One's the, you got the DVD, which only carries the theatrical. The Blu-ray carries both. Uh, theatrical and extended cut of the ver of the movie. Now this movie was pretty hilarious. Uh, pretty standard basic stuff. You know, just like is a drug dealer. Well, basically he just deals marijuana. And um, his neighbor is Kenny. And Jennifer Aniston, who's also a neighbor, who's also a stripper. Now, the funny thing is that uh, the, the boy the plays Kenny. His mom isn't home, so basically that basically takes. The, there was an easy way out to show why he was able to go on along the trip because his mom is not to town and she went away and basically she ain't coming back. So, so yeah, so yeah, and then the girl she's homeless, so whatever she ran away from home. But yeah, they go on this wild adventure. You have um, you have a great cast in this, and it's uh, it's amazing. They had great chemistry. And they have to go across, you know, to Mexico and grab a little bit of weed and bring it back. And, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing uh, what they were able to do. And you got this guy right here. You guys have seen The Office or even The Hangover. You know exactly who it is. And, you know, he plays a bit of a dick in this one, you know. Um, all in all, it was a pretty hilarious movie. They have great uh, great moments in this. I've seen this movie five times and uh, I got no regrets about this. Um, if you see the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So definitely buy this movie. If you have not, if you have not seen it, definitely download, uh, watch it on uh, Netflix, uh, DVD or whatever. Go to your red box if you, if you do that. Next up is Elysium. This movie was freaking awesome. The only reason I went to go see this movie was because it was the director of District 9. That was my first draw. Second draw was Matt Damon and also the guy who was in District 9. Um, what is his name? I know it's on here somewhere. I... It's so sad that I can't remember his name. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Charlton Copley, who was in uh, the A-Team. Now, this movie was beyond amazing. Uh, great visuals, great story. So, you know, this one was definitely an amazing movie. Um, so, yeah, that's enough. I already said most of the stuff. <laughs> Actually, I said all that stuff in the review. So, we're going to move right on ahead. And here we go. The digital copy. Uh, you know, Sony's cool points. So you have... ETX stuff, you know, all these little coupons that comes in there, um, and the movies that they are featuring from that, from Sony. Here we go, we're going to go into what's in here. You got the DVD standard, crappy, regular standard silver, and the Blu-ray with a nice artwork on top. Now, on the back of it, take the discs out so you can appreciate it. I'm not going to take out the thing. I know the picture's going to be crappy looking through the thing, but it's actually Charlotte Copley in his little action form of attack in his outfit. Um... This movie was definitely an amazing movie, definitely amazing uh, storyline, and definitely amazing directing and acting and editing and CG work. Now, uh, if I close this, so the Spartan Special Feature goes, had a pretty decent amount of uh, features on there that, that I was satisfied with, with the, in the making of. Now the covers, it's a matte finish, you no know, embossed lettering. The, this is also mastered in 4K, so... If you thought this movie looked amazing on your 1080p TV, when you finally get a 4K TV and a 4K Blu-ray player to play this in 4K up upscale, you'll get a nice beautiful coloring to you know go along with this great story and great movie and great directing. Everything goes with it. So I can't wait because I'm definitely saving my money to give me a 4K TV. I need a new TV. My TV is getting pixel dead pixels in it and it sucks at playing games. So my gameplay right now is going to be lacking because it's kind of hard. I've noticed that my 
I can't kill people from far away in COD when it's far away because I can't see them because the dead pixels don't help me out much because the person's usually in the area where there's a dead pixel and I'm screwed. So I managed to do pretty well in some of the games, but you know what? I'm, I'm just done. It just hurts my eyes and it's a pain in the ass to watch to play. And um, and we're saying, well, why don't you get another TV? I'm waiting next year by the beginning, beginning of next year. I'm already saving my money. Give me a 4K TV. But until then, I'm just going to just bear and grin it. All right. Last but not least, Bones, the complete eighth season. Love, love, love this show. Recommended by four of my friends. Decided to watch it one day on Netflix and was hooked ever since. I mean, this show was, this show was freaking amazing. <laughs> I mean, I was hooked since day one. Um, this is definitely a movie, I mean, a show that you should watch. It's pretty amazing. Great scientific stuff that goes into it. And um, I appreciate the show a whole lot. And, ah, oh, forget this out, there's the slipcover, and then of course they're promoting their new show, Sleepy Hollow, but yeah, this is definitely a show, and of course in the back of it, the artwork, I'm going to slip it out anyways, I hate doing this, but it's a pain, it's the chapter uh, search and all that, and it's like in an office, there you go, oh, yeah, I hate pulling these out because it's a pain to get them under just right, but yeah, anyways, Definitely a good show, and uh, the special features aren't that bad. Um, but every season they have gag reels, and each one, Michi's is hilarious. They actually have, honest to God, good quality gag reels. They're hilarious each and every single one of them. So that's another reason why I love watching their the, the makings of. I usually um, watch them after I finish watching the season because I don't want to give away what I haven't seen. But if I watch a movie, if I already seen the movie, I'm gonna watch the gag reels and the makings of before the movie because I already know what's gonna happen. And it's not gonna spoil anything for me. So that's it this is the last one and um yeah season nine is coming out soon and i'm buying that bad boy and i'll have more dvds and blu-rays and games when i buy games to unbox for you guys and i am still thinking of a giveaway i might do an elgato giveaway i'm thinking about it i gotta save some money for that but if i do i think i'll do the the new one that just came out the elgato h60 Stick around. If you have not subscribed, subscribe below and stick around for hopefully a giveaway. And you know what? I'll be seeing you guys around. I'm Grim Reaper. Bye.